On November 15th of 2022, the world reached a new population landmark of 8 billion people. This was a significant moment for many reasons, but mainly because we've never had quite so many people all breathing the air on the planet Earth at the same time. There are reasons to be concerned, you know, given all the resources required to sustain a planet that's heaving under its weight of its people, but there's still a whole lot of space left to squeeze in a bunch more, especially if we take a leaf out of these city books. They're positively stuffing people into every available space or cupboard or kitchen drawer. From the most notoriously dangerous place in the history of squashed-in populations to places where eight people share a space of just 12 square feet, here are the 20 most densely populated places on the planet. Number 20. Kowloon Walled City between the 1950s and 1994, Kowloon Walled City, located just to the north of Hong Kong Island, was the most densely populated place on Earth. It began as a Chinese military fort and later turned into an ungoverned and ungovernable city of squatters and buildings on top of buildings. It was an enormous complex of 300 buildings that were all interconnected across one city block. This area was essentially a lawless kind of space, which was between Hong Kong, which was then run by the British, and China. Kowloon Walled City was run by criminals, famous for organized crime and opium dens. Despite the small area that it took up, Kowloon Walled City was home to more than 33,000 people. There were triad-run gambling dens, and it was feared by police and all other official health inspectors would not step into the place. In Cantonese, it was known as the City of Darkness. Kowloon Walled City no longer exists. It would be demolished back when the government of Hong Kong was returned to the Chinese, so you cannot actually step inside the most densely populated place on Earth. But frankly, you probably probably wouldn't have wanted to anyways. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Manila. These days, it's allegedly Manila in the Philippines that is the most densely populated city in the whole wide world. However, as we shall see, there are many, many different contenders for this unenviable title. Manila has an astonishing population of 21.3 million people. That means that there are 42,000 inhabitants per square kilometer. It's firmly amongst the most populated and also the fastest of growing cities in Southeast Asia. Manila's history makes it a hugely important place in the world because it's long been considered one of the original global cities and was part of the earliest commercial networks that connected Asia with the Spanish Americas via the galleon trade. These trade routes were essentially what built the global world that we know today, and Manila was at the forefront of that. Number 18. Mumbai Mumbai is a city of huge importance in India. It is the commercial capital of this vast and ever-expanding nation, and it also is the most densely populated city in the whole of the country. The population of Mumbai has totally exploded in the decades since the 1970s, leaping from 2.9 million in 1971 to 9.36 million in 2011. This massive increase has placed a huge strain on the aging infrastructure of the place, so other nearby cities have begun to develop. Places like like Navi Mumbai and Vasi Varar, these cities are increasingly popular choices for those who are trying to escape the crammed confines of Mumbai itself. There are around 73,000 people for each square mile of this madly packed in place, making it one of the most densely populated places on the planet. The land here, being so sought after, is quite expensive, so many of the people live in poor conditions and in extremely cramped, shabby homes. Many of them also have to commute long distances in order to work, and this in turn puts massive strains on the inundated public transport system, and the images of this packed out transportation is as much a part of daily life in Mumbai as the busy traffic jam streets. Number 17. Mong Kok. Here we are again in Hong Kong. 
this time in an area known as Mong Kok. Stop it. Get your minds out of the gutter. Mong Kok is the Cantonese word for busy corner, and that may actually be ever so slightly downplaying just how insanely populated that the place is. When I said that Manila is the most densely populated place on Earth, it seems as though I probably had forgotten all about Mong Kok. There are believed to be a ridiculous 130,000 people per square kilometer here. Just to put that in perspective, there are 8,000 people per square kilometer in Sydney, Australia, and that is that country's own most densely populated place. In the United States, it's Washington, D.C. that claims the density prize, about 11,000 people per square mile, although we'll see some other U.S. cities with bigger numbers coming up because these things do change a lot and have many different ways of being measured. Even so, that probably gives you an indication that this part of Hong Kong is totally bananas. Mong Kok, if the numbers are correct, and we are to understand that it is the most densely populated place on Earth, there's no real doubt that it is also the busiest. Literally everywhere is packed all of the time. The streets are rammed with constant traffic and the sidewalks are totally packed with people, and it looks like a swarm of bargain seekers at a Black Friday sale, except that this is just a regular Tuesday or Wednesday or even whenever. There is constant light and noise pollution, perpetual construction work, and it's not even a cheap option. Rent here is sky high, despite all of the irritation and inconvenience of sharing the space with a zillion other people. Number 16. The Roquina Favela in big Brazilian cities, the favelas are the densely populated areas where the most poor part of the population live in busy and oftentimes less regular communities. In Rio de Janeiro, the favelas are famous for their vibrant but often dangerous way of life. The Roquina favela is one of Rio's favelas, and it also happens to be the largest. This place can be seen sprawled across the steep hillside all up away from the center of the city. Though they are poorer areas and packed with people, it doesn't mean that the favelas are all slums. In fact, the Roquina favela has all of those things that you would expect to find in any neighborhood. There are the usual necessities like running water and electricity. There are even schools, shops, and pharmacies. So, life in the favela is ordinary in some ways, but extraordinary in others. These are the places where the creativity and expression of the local people is visible and celebrated. There's a dizzying array of art and food culture taking place in the favela, and although they have the reputation for being dangerous, and they're more dangerous in some respects than other parts of the city, some of the favelas are also some of the most interesting and real places in the Rio. Number 15. Malay Island. The Republic of the Maldives is a string of small coral islands, about 1,200 in total. There are clusters of these islands which are known as atolls across 90,000 square kilometers of the Indian Ocean. One of those islands is Malay, and it is a very busy place indeed. Now, when we think of the Maldives, we may imagine exclusive vacation destinations with beautiful sandy beaches and crystal clear waters and miles of lush green landscapes and luxury resorts. There are parts of this country which are far from that idyllic scene. I mean, people have to live and work here as well. It's not a vacation for the locals, after all. This island has a population of over 200,000 people, and they're all crammed onto an island which has an area of around 8 square kilometers. So there's not a whole lot of breathing room in this densely populated place. The city itself pretty much covers the entire island, and it's also home to about one-third of the entire population of the Maldives. Number 14. Gutenberg, New Jersey. Whereas Washington, D.C. may be densely populated in some respects, it is the small town of Gutenberg in New Jersey that wins the award for being the most crowded place in the United States of America. The municipality of Gutenberg is only a tiny rectangle of land in Hudson County, New Jersey, but about 11,700 people are squashed into a space that only amounts to about two-tenths of a square mile. For why? Well, what the actual heck is going on in this place that makes it so popular and populous? It's more tightly packed in than New York City. 
It seems that a fifth of the town's population all live in one large apartment complex that's located in three skyscrapers called the Galaxy Towers that overlook the Hudson River. This place accounts for the large increase in population numbers since the towers were constructed. In fact, the amount of space that would be allocated per person if they each had an equal piece of Gutenberg based on the square mile stuff would amount to the equivalent area of one small studio flat per inhabitant in the whole municipality. Number 13. Dhaka in Bangladesh up next, we have yet another contender for the most full-up place in our world. This time, we're in Bangladesh, in the center of Dhaka, the hub for the nation's economy and home to about a bazillion people. The sums have been done, and apparently there are actually somewhere in the region of 47,000 people per square kilometer in Dhaka. It sounds pretty cozy. This massive city is hugely important to the country as a whole, and it actually accounts for more than a fifth of Bangladesh's gross domestic product. It's where you'll find almost half of all the jobs in the country. But despite the obvious necessity for many people to live in this place just to make a living, it's still considered to be in the top five least livable cities in the world. Which is hardly a ringing endorsement. I don't much fancy it, do you? The trouble is that where there's enormous overcrowding, there's also a massive strain on the infrastructure of a place, as well as all that extra junk that comes along when you stuff a whole lot of people into a small area. There's loads of gross pollution, there's an insane level of noise, ridiculously insufferable traffic, and lots of unplanned housing just popping up out of sheer necessity. People do need shelter, but this haphazard urbanization can be dangerous. Where there's a lack of safe housing and poor infrastructure, there's also an increase in problems, and with the average driving speed being 7 kilometers per hour, nobody is getting anywhere fast. Number 12. St. Yossi Ten Nude Belgium is not the biggest country nor the most populated on planet Earth, but it does have a place which is rather a lot of people squashed in together into an unfeasibly small area. This is saint Josie ten nude a municipality in the Brussels capital region of Belgium. Its proximity to Brussels, the capital of Belgium, makes this a very populous place indeed. Even though the average population density in Belgium is 377 inhabitants for every square kilometer, this place surpasses that by an absolutely bananas amount. The population density of this municipality is 23,234 inhabitants for every square kilometer. Many of the people who live in the place are those who have immigrated to Belgium to work in the capital. Thrilling stuff, I'm sure, but this is Belgium after all, and you know how it can be. They do make good chocolate, though. Number 11. Malabon. Here we are again in the Philippines, actually not far at all from where we were just a matter of moments ago. This is Malabon, a distinctly unexciting urbanized city located just to the north of the city of Manila. You know, where we saw a really dense population of people packed in like sardines? Anyways, this place seems to be a kind of overflow car park for the excess population that is leaking out of the capital. It's a mostly residential and industrial place and is massively all of loads of loads of people. The total the total land area is 15.96 square kilometers, and the population, according to their 2020 census, is 380,522. That means that these people are all squished together at the rate of 23,842 people per square kilometer, which is rather an intimate and distinctly snug situation, to be honest. This place not only struggles with being so very busy, but it's also becoming increasingly affected by frequent flooding. It's a low-lying and flat area, and when flooding occurs, the people who mainly live along the riverbank are bearing the brunt of these disasters. The floodwaters are now typically reaching all the way into the most densely populated populated areas of the city. Number 10. Damascus 
The city of Damascus in Syria is one of the world's most ancient and important places. It has, however, in recent years, been at the center of the Syrian civil war and has changed to become almost unrecognizable from its former self. The city of Damascus is the seat of the Syrian government and is the oldest capital city in the world, also being named as the oldest continuously inhabited city. In 2022, the population of Damascus was more than 2.5 million people. In 2004, it had been 2.7 million. In 2019, the city was named as the least livable city out of 140 worldwide. It's a rather unlivable thing to be at the center of a long and bloody civil war, but then again, most people have no choice. Still a densely populated place despite all of that, Damascus has been populated since the second half of the 7th millennium BC, around about 6300 BC, and it will likely continue to be a hub of life and civilization long into the future. Number 9. Lavelle Wapere the really rather tiny city of lavelle Pere is actually only four miles from Paris. So really, in many respects, it's basically still a part of the expansive and sprawling metropolis itself. This place only officially consists of about one square mile of area, and yet within that space, there are about a bazillion people. Well, actually, there are 68,458 per square mile. It's believed to be the most densely populated place in the whole of Europe. As well as squashing lots and lots of people into a teeny weeny area, this city is famously where the taxis from Paris are held when they're not working within the city limits. It's also apparently known for being a hub of the perfume industry and for its beekeeping tradition. The city has a bee as its modern emblem. Although, where the heck they keep bees and have a space to park loads of taxis or indeed make perfume with all those people, who could possibly say? Number 8. Karachi As the biggest and most populated city in Pakistan, Karachi is a significant place and lots of people live and work within its bounds. Approximately 16.8 million of them actually. This population has grown rapidly in recent decades, and with that rapid growth, there tends to be an expansion of poor quality housing to accommodate the bulge in people. And in Karachi, this means that about 50% of the city's population live in slums. Not ideal. There's currently a population density of about 24,000 people per square kilometer, or 63,000 people for each square mile. Karachi is the largest city in Pakistan, although it is not the capital. That honor belongs to Islamabad. Back in the 1960s and 70s, Karachi was known as the City of Lights due to it having an especially vibrant nightlife. Less so these days, since it has changed considerably since the Soviet-Afghan War of the 1980s and the huge influx of refugees from that conflict. There were also political problems and crime was at an all-time high. This reputation for crime would continue until there was a massive crackdown in 2013 by the very scary paramilitary forces of the government. The Pakistan Rangers. Now Karachi has gone from 6th in the world for the most dangerous city to 128th. Number 7. Kolkata Kolkata, which was formerly known as Kolkata in English, is a big city in West Bengal in India. The city itself has a population of an estimated 4.6 million, but if you expand to include the suburbs, the population increases to more than 14.3 million, which makes it the third most densely populated city in all of India. After independence in 1947, when rule of the nation was relinquished by the British Empire and returned to India, Kolkata went through a period of economic economic difficulty and political violence before settling and regained its significance. There's a bunch of interesting things about it. It's home to the Eastern Indian film industry and a bunch of different culturally important places from the National Library of India to the Academy of Fine Arts. There are also many scientific institutions that are based within the city. Like many major metropolitan areas, it suffers from major pollution problems. There's been such a trend toward the dangerously high levels of what's known as breathable, suspended particulate matter in the air here that there's also been a noticeable rise in pollution-related diseases like lung cancer. But that's the thing, you see. More people packed in means more traffic and more junk being spewed out into the air. And that, it would appear, is bad for your health. 
Number 6. Kathmandu Kathmandu is the capital city of Nepal, which is located in South Asia. It is by far the most populous city in the whole of that country and is located in the Kathmandu Valley, which, despite its name, is still a very high up place indeed, sitting at about 4,600 feet above sea level. Interestingly enough, Kathmandu is one of the oldest places on Earth that's been continuously inhabited. It was originally founded in the 2nd century AD and has been home to the royal family of Nepal in its time. There are numerous palaces and mansions that attest to its history, and the city is at the center of Nepal's cultural life and history, as well as being the economic hub for the nation. It's also the largest metropolitan place in the whole of the Himalayan mountain range. The population of Kathmandu has been expanding at a rapid pace, with an annual increase of about 6.12%. But to accommodate this expansion of the people, the space that the city occupies and controls also keeps expanding into new areas. This means that even as the population grows, the density remains fairly stable. It seems kind of sensible and quite different than the usual sort of squashing and cramming that we've seen in these other super densely packed places so far. Number 5. Kibera Kibera is an area of Nairobi in Kenya. It's a slum district and is actually considered to be the largest in all of Africa and amongst the biggest slums in the whole entire world. That is, no statistic to be proud of, to be honest. Kibera is home to about 250,000 people, and there are 2.5 million people living in the various slums of Nairobi. However, Kibera is the largest. The slums of Nairobi only account for about 6% of the land space in the city, but they also contain more than 60% of the population. There's something wrong with that sort of distribution, it would seem. And that's all before you get around to looking into the dreadful conditions of the place. Each shack in Kibera is around 12 feet by 12 feet, and these spaces often house up to eight or more people, with many of them actually sleeping on the floor. Only about 20% of the population in Kibera has electricity, and until recent, there was no water there. It used to be that it was collected from the Nairobi Dam, despite the fact that the water from there was not clean, and often contained typhoid and cholera. There are now two new water mains in Kibera, so that's really the most basic but essential of improvements. And when you add to that the lack of water and the lack of laboratories, you could probably now see that it's a tough place to live. There's one toilet, well, it's actually a hole in the ground for every 50 shacks. So just imagine the queue to poo. Number four, Vajayawada. Are you still with me? We're having all quite the geography lesson here today, aren't we? This time we're in India again, in the city that I most likely mispronounced, known as Vyawada, which is located in the state of Andhra Pradesh, which I most likely mispronounced as well. This is a busy and bustling metropolis with all kinds of culture and education and other important shiz going on, so you know, a lot of people live here. It's quite jam-packed to be honest. There are 31,200 people in each and every square kilometer, or at least there would be if they all spread out perfectly neatly and in an orderly manner. But that's not how it works, so this is estimated as an average. However, you already knew that, didn't you? Oh yes, you're so clever. The city is densely populated, but it's also extremely popular. both with tourists and people who choose to live there. It's been recognized as a global city of the future and is seen as massively important in the financial growth of the area and the nation as a whole. Tourists flock here by the bazillions on the account of the famous temples, and it's a sacred place and a hub for the Indian festival of Pushkaram, a river-worshipping ritual. So you know, there's something here for everyone. It's no wonder that it's so busy. Number 3. Baghdad Back in 2020, the population of Baghdad in Iraq would reach a colossal 8.5 million people. This was a bit of a surprise given the fact that Baghdad is actually a relatively small city, but it just has a whole lot of people. It's the second largest population of a city in the Arab world. Only Cairo is larger, apparently. Baghdad is hugely a significant and ancient place, located on the River Tigris beside the ruins of an ancient metropolis of Babylon. 
Baghdad's importance began in about 762 AD when it started to evolve into a city of huge cultural and commercial importance. It's really remained that way ever since. Despite the various conflicts of recent times, Baghdad does still function as a major center of the Muslim world. There's actually a hugely diverse mix of peoples and religions in Baghdad. Here, there are Shia and Sunni, Assyrian and Chaldean, Armenians, and many mixed neighborhoods. There's also a large Jewish community, and the place is also a pilgrimage site for many Sikhs. Number 2. Hong Kong Living in Hong Kong is hard work. The place is one of the most densely packed places in the whole world. It's long been associated with tightly squeezed communities and busy streets. But despite the fact that the birth rate here is only 0.774 per woman, the population is still bulging. There are some parts of Hong Kong which can be measured as having more than 400,000 people per square kilometer. That's utterly insane. But there you have it. It's a mad world. Although Hong Kong itself does cover 1,068 square kilometers, only about 25% of that is actually built up areas. There are more than 7 million people crowded into those urban spaces, and most of them live in high-rise buildings. The city is actually home to the largest number of skyscrapers in any city on the planet. Despite the number of people there, these residents actually have amongst the highest life expectancy of the world. There's an excellent public transportation system, and Hong Kong is a thriving financial center as well as a bustling cultural hub. The city is hugely important in the history of filmmaking as well. So there are drawbacks to living in a densely populated place, but Hong Kong also has some of its benefits. The city has excellent infrastructure and urban planning, and it's apparently a place that people enjoy living and working in, and it continues to thrive. Number 1. Guangzhou and finally, we have a slightly weird offering. It's a place which does not have an especially high population density, but for some reason made it onto our list on the account of having potential to be a super densely populated people place in the future. Right then. There are only about 2,000 people per square kilometer in this place, and after I looked at Hong Kong just now, we could establish that this place must appear like a one-horse town in comparison. The city at present has a total surface area of 7,434.4 square kilometers, so there is room for the population to keep expanding and pack people in like we've seen elsewhere, if it becomes necessary. Located about 120 kilometers to the north of Hong Kong, it's a place with a long and interesting history. It was a significant stop on the Silk Road and has long served as a major port and hub for transportation. It is known for many significant sites, which includes several important temples and buildings, and is also a huge educational center with housing many of the most important and prestigious universities of China. So that's all today from some of the world's most populated places. Where do you live, and is it super packed like anywhere we've seen today? As always, let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you!